most common question I can see you probably getting asked, um, you know, in terms of like one of these real life things is comparing two things. All right. So for this, uh, it says we got two banks. One's offering 3.75% rate. Uh, the other one's offering 3% rate. Five years is going to be the time. All right. So I'm going to try to color code these in two things. Uh, compounded monthly, compounded monthly. So T. All right. Uh, the Jonestown Savings is offering a $300 bonus. So they're giving you $300 to open an account there. Uh, this money will be deposited in Melissa's account on the first day of her account. Assuming she has $10,000 to invest, which bank should she choose? All right. So she has $10,000. That's my P, and I haven't used this kind of reddish color here. All right. So we've got $10,000. And then one bank, we're going to have $10,300 because they're going to give us $300 to entice us to come and earn a little bit less interest. All right, because $10,300 was with the Jones. Jones is the one with the, and they only had 3% interest. All right, so one plus, this one was 0 0.0375 over 12, 12 times five. This one only gave me 3% interest, but... They gave me $300. All right. So they gave me $300 up front instead of giving me more interest over the rate of the thing. All right. So we're going to take these two. I'm guessing that $10,300 is probably going to be more. Let's see. So 10,000 times one plus 0 0.0375 over 12 to the 12 times five. So 125878. 12,058.78. All right, so now let's change stuff here because it'll make my life a little easier. Work from left to right here. No. 10,300, but this time I only get 3% interest. Everything else is the same. So I get 11,964. 0.65, All right, so for this one, I should go with that. And now they're changing it to $5,000 over here. So I'm going to replace this with a $5,000. And this is going to be $5,300. So probably I was backwards. Probably now the other one on the right-hand side is going to be worth more money. Uh, because the $300 is going to be more significant when I'm only investing $5,000. So let's see here. All right, it seems like if I hit the math button and then quit, it takes me to the beginning. So $5,000 is going to be 6,029.39. 6,029.39. And if I go up here and grab this one and then hit something and then hit quit and put in 5,300, it's 615657, 56.57. But I didn't think about that accurately there. Um, the $300 is giving me a higher percentage increase in my deposit at 5,000 than 10,000. So that's why it's better to use the lower interest rate, but get the $300 when you're investing 5,000 then 10,000. All right, and again, these are things that if you are actually doing some sort of investment, you have to consider this if you wanna make sure that you get the most money possible.